good morning. It's a new week. It's actually Tuesday today. It's 6.45 and it is so sunny outside. Wellies are going on and we're going for a walk. I have really got back into my daily walks and I am loving it. Honestly, it's making me feel so good. I have already noticed such a shift in my body. Like I'm not feeling bloated. I don't feel like I'm holding loads of water. Just literally doing one walk a day and it's completely shifting how I feel. So I actually haven't even brushed my hair yet because I cannot find my hairbrush anywhere. But I've chucked on some clothes. I've actually got Jack's coat on because it's so windy and I opened the window and it was freezing. Hat is on because it's sunny. Headphones, wellies, leggings. I've got a couple of tops on underneath in case I'm cold. And I'm gonna listen to a podcast. Podcast of the day is going to be Grace Beverly's podcast with Dr. Ranjan Chatter. Podcast of the morning is going to be Grace Beverly's Working Hard, Hardly Working with Dr. Ranjan Chatterjee. Why the first five minutes of your day are the most important. And that is what we're doing. I'm going to do about an hour, hour and a half walk. Listen to this and come back and get cracking on the day. And I thought I would show you some bits today that I kind of like have been doing in the last week or so to just reset my body, reset my mind in terms of health and feeling good and feeling my best self. You might notice I'm looking, I mean, I'm looking a little bit puffy because I've just woken up, but I am looking a little bit more tanned because I put a layer of tan on last night. Oh, hold on, I need to lock the door. I've got too many things in my hands. I put a layer of tan on my body um, because I was just feeling a bit rubbish and tan always helps me. Um, and then I also popped on some new tanning drops onto my face and I'm loving it. I think it looks so nice. Oh my goodness, it is windy. But it's a beautiful morning. Oh my gosh, it's so windy. It's actually freezing. I'm probably not going to be able to vlog because you're not going to be able to hear me. But anyways, I'll speak to you later. It is so muddy in the woods at the moment. I cannot wait until... Um, this mud just dries up a bit. I think if we just have a few days of no rain and it's quite warm, we can hopefully get rid of some of this mud because I don't love going for long walks in my wellies when I'm kind of like doing a fitness walk. And when I'm kind of doing like a country walk and we're walking quite slow, it's fine. But when I'm trying to do like lots of steps and like walk quickly, it, um, it's really uncomfortable. But anyway, I have actually been on my walk for about 20 minutes and I've just been voice noting my mum and Grace, um, Jack's sister Grace, <laughs> like giving them updates and I always voice note them in the mornings. We do like a morning debrief every single day. So I've just been doing that and I haven't even started my podcast. So I'm going to put that on now while I finish my walk. And it's really weird. I do the same loop every, every single time I do a walk. Some days I'll hit like 9,000 steps. Another day, I'll only get to like 6,000 and I don't understand it. It's really weird. I can't figure it out because I'll do the exact same walk. But anyway, I'm thinking I might walk, do my normal loop around the woods and then I might go back home. Ugh. Oh, no. Mud just went all over my hand. Um, I think I might go back the a different way, so a bit of a longer way to try and like get the steps up. But honestly, because I haven't been going to like a gym or I haven't been doing any classes or anything, I've just been feeling a bit sluggish and a bit kind of like just really not myself. I feel like I've had no, not, um, I guess no confidence. I just haven't really been feeling great at all. And it's funny how as soon as you just start moving your body in any way at all, I mean, I've been walk doing my daily walks on and off for about a week and a half now. And... If I can't go in the morning because it's raining, I wait until the afternoon and I'll do it then. I'm just really trying to stick to it. And I can't believe how much better I feel just from walking every day. It's such a small thing and it's not difficult. It's not like going for a big run or 
I don't feel like it's so strenuous. It's just so nice and I'm so looking forward to summer when I can just get up even earlier because it's warmer and it's light and I can just get out and walk. It's so nice. So anyway, I'm going to put my podcast on and um, yeah, listen to this and then I'm going to head back and get, uh, get ready and I need to go and do a food shop. Um, we're actually going away this weekend, which I'm going to try and vlog but I don't know how well that will go. Um, but yeah, I need to just get some nice bits in for dinner. And I think maybe in this vlog, I'll show you some dinners and stuff, lunches and maybe a couple of meals that I cook. Um, just to give you some inspo for some kind of healthy, but really good meals that are yummy and nutritious and filling. There's not like a rice cracker. <laughs> in this angle before but it's quite nice hopefully it's not too messy behind me um but i'm back from the supermarket i've actually just started putting some bits away and i thought i would show you some of the bits that i've picked up i've already put away all like the salad and vegetables and things like that um but i picked up some good bits and i got some good snacks to take with us at the weekend um i think i mentioned earlier but we're going to center parks this weekend with Jack's family for a lovely little wellness, sporty, healthy outdoors weekend. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. I've never been to Centre Parks. Jack's family actually used to go to Centre Parks every single year when they were growing up with his nanny and granddad. So um, they've had a big hiatus of not going, probably from their teenage years into adult life. And yeah, we planned a trip for this year. So I'm really looking forward to it. I actually have some new um, like athleisure wear to show you. So I'll do that in a second, but food shop. So dinner wise, I always tend to get the same things each week. So I always get salmon fillets. I'm obsessed with salmon, it's my favorite. I just love it with like grains in salads, pastas, with rice. Sometimes I'll literally just have it with rice and broccoli and sweet chili sauce and it's so good. Um, I also got some chicken breast because I'm going to make my chicken satay um, like noodles, which is so nice. Some lamb mints. When I do a spaghetti bolognese, I always use lamb mints. I just find it so much nicer. And this is the 20% fat one, grass and forage. Oh, that's hard to say. Grass and forage fed. <laughs> so that's meat. As I said, we're going away, so we don't need loads of stuff. It's only for a couple of nights. Um, I've got some eggs because I always have eggs in loads of different things. Um, I've got some rice this is the rice that i absolutely love mainly because it comes in little portions and i know this is quite lazy i could make this from scratch but it's just so quick and easy and by the time it gets to the evening sometimes i can't be bothered to do things properly so this is just one step that's so much easier this is the vt um sticky rice really recommend this especially if you work in an office and you're looking to Kind of like you don't just want to eat sandwiches all day or you're looking to not spend as much money on lunches because you can cut these in half and then you can just take a little pouch with you and it's the perfect portion size and they're just so quick you just chuck them in the microwave i also always pick up some lentils so i've got a couple of packs of these the merchant gourmet um lentils these are really good little pouches i always have these for lunches and then i'll just make like a little lentil bowl with salad sometimes i put feta in there halloumi chicken tuna whatever they're so good this is the tomato french lentils these are unbelievable um what else have we got i've got some jason sourdough which i always get this is my favorite bread i just find it delicious it fits in the toaster so easily so it's a better kind of sourdough um, but sometimes I find when you get sourdough loaves, which I do tend to do from the bakery, but once you cut them, the pieces are so big they don't fit the toaster. So this is really good. Definitely recommend this bread. Some Nocellara olives, which are my favourite little snack. 
Greek yogurt, this one is my favorite, the 5% beige uh, total yogurt. Really, really good protein in this. Nine grams of protein at 100 grams, which is so good. So I'll have this with some strawberries, but I sometimes put uh, my homemade granola in there and honey and just loads of different bits really. Seeds. I got some crackers because I actually have some Philadelphia in the fridge and Philadelphia and crackers is so underrated. It reminds me of when I was really little and I would do my swimming lessons, we would come home and have a strawberry Nesquik and the cracker, these crackers and um, Philadelphia as like our little post swimming snack. <laughs> Another good lunch is soup. I am obsessed with soup with like a slice of sourdough or some crackers with it. This is the vegetable Covent Garden soup. I love these. I just find the portion size really good because sometimes if you get a massive soup, I can't eat that much soup. So I end up using half of it and then I don't get around to using the rest of it. Um, I also got some more butter. This is the Waitrose salted French butter. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. I really try to eat things that are not kind of like fat free. For example, like the yogurt is not 0% fat. I just try to eat things that are their whole thing rather than getting like the lighter version and the fat free. I just think you have to have everything in moderation, of course, and a balanced diet with whole ingredients is the best. Okay, and then we're going on to pretty much like my snacks. I am a snackaholic. I love snacks, especially like on a Friday night. I love having some crisps, a glass of wine at the weekend. I feel like I'm always snacking at the weekends. Sometimes it gets to like four o'clock and I just need something. So these are my absolute favorite when I'm trying not to eat as many crisps. Because honestly, I can get a share bag of crisps and eat them in about five minutes. Um, so these are a really good alternative. The Callow lentil and pea cakes. I know I said earlier about rice cakes, but these are a snack, not a meal. Um, so I've got the sea salt and cider vinegar, and then I've also got caramelized onion and chutney. If you love crisps and you haven't tried these, I 10 out of 10 recommend. Just make sure that if you eat a few to seal the packet properly, because otherwise they get really dry and they're like cardboard. Um, but yeah, these have really good ingredients. They're plant protein, high fiber, they're just so good, love those. Another favorite snack that I haven't eaten in such a long time are naked bars. I actually got these to take with us to center parks because while we're kind of like out and about, I feel like it'll be quite handy to have one of these and just a healthier option. Like if we stop for a coffee and a cake and I don't really want a cake, I can have this. Um, so these are the salted caramel flavor. Honestly, these take me back to being at college, uni. I used to have one of these every single day. I was addicted to them. This flavor is the best. And then lastly, my little evening sweet treat, popcorn. You just can't go wrong with popcorn, I love it. I always get these individual packs because as I said, I have no willpower. And if I bought a share bag, I would pour it into a bowl and eat all of it. <laughs> so yeah, just a few little bits that I like to get that I, I tend to buy these quite a lot. I mean, some of these will last me a really long time. Like I won't eat all of these in a week and I probably will not eat all of these in a week either. So I don't get these every single week, but when they're running low, I like to keep them stocked up just so I've got those healthy options. And when it comes to eating, I know it can be such a trigger topic. So trigger warning of eating and kind of like food related things, but I feel like it's actually very rare nowadays that you meet somebody that hasn't struggled with some kind of relationship with food whatever end of the spectrum it's on. And I feel like everyone has their own journey and their own relationship with that entity as a whole. And it can be tough. And I have definitely struggled with things like that in the past. And like the pressures and the like diet culture and all of those things. Actually, um, I really love listening to M Clarkson and Alex Light, their podcast called Should I Delete That? They touch on these topics quite frequently. And it's just, unbelievable how we have grown up in a society that completely picks women apart for how they look, what they're eating, how they should be eating, what diet you should be on. It's so draining and I feel like it's one of those things that consumes your mind so much when you're in that cycle and when you are that person that's quite susceptible to struggling with it. I have definitely found times in my life that have been really difficult in terms of like food being involved 
but I've worked so so hard on myself the last few years to just know that as long as I feel good and confident and comfortable and I'm not restricting myself and I'm eating the foods that I love. Like I said, making nutritious meals. I love cooking. I find it such therapy. It's such a nice way to just switch off and relax and not go on my phone and cook a nice dinner in the evening or a nice lunch. I love it and I love food. I'm such a foodie person. So it's kind of just like almost healing your inner child, I guess, in that sense. But anyway, that was very deep. All I was talking about was my future. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this away, and then I've just had a delivery from Adenola. Um, I ordered lots of bits, so I wanna try them on and show you them. And I have loads of other things I wanna talk to you about in this vlog, so we'll get to that. Also in terms of like health and wellness, I have been really hot on tracking my cycle and one thing that i have really noticed since doing that is i just feel so much more in tune and in line with my body and my mind and just kind of all of those aspects that come along with being a woman unfortunately and i just can't believe that as women we have so much <laughs> To, to, that just goes on in our minds. We have so many things to consider all of the time. Hormone health, hormones, just so much stuff. And I have been um, using the Flow app. This is not sponsored or anything. Um, I downloaded it, Nadia recommended it to me and I downloaded it a few months ago and I've been tracking my cycle and like symptoms, feelings, all of those things. And honestly, I have noticed such a difference in my mindset towards my hormones and like my emotions and my feelings. For example, right now I am at the end of my luteal phase. So usually the last couple of days, yesterday and today, is when I start feeling ridiculously tired to the point that I could sleep all day long. And for ages I just kept thinking, why? Every single month do I have half a week where I literally cannot keep my eyes open. I thought I had something wrong with me. I thought I had chronic fatigue and iron deficiency. I had no idea what was wrong. And when I started tracking this, I then realized actually no, it's just my body's way of preparing me for that next cycle. And it's helped me so much to know that because my cycle is so, so regular, I know that on those certain days every month I am going to feel like I have been hit by a bus and I cannot focus and I am so drained and tired. I mean, I feel like you can see in my eyes that I woke up this morning and was so wiped out. But I'm trying to still lean into the things that make me feel really good, like getting up in the morning and going for a walk, keeping the house nice and clean and tidy, and having a really productive six hours in the morning and getting all of those tasks done that require a lot of energy and focus and then easing off a bit and allowing myself that time during that those days because I can this is such a privilege and not everyone gets to do this I'm completely aware um, I don't want to sound out of touch in that sense because I am so aware that that is a massive privilege to have but even if it's just in terms of your workouts or what you're eating or you're socializing and all those aspects to life that start to dip at certain points in the month i think it's really helpful to just stay on top of it and i'm definitely feeling better about it another thing is coffee i have a coffee right now but i have been really reducing my caffeine intake especially coffee or matcha first thing in the morning i used to be one of those people that would literally wake up and walk straight downstairs and make some kind of caffeinated drink and I realised that it was giving me headaches in the day. It was making me feel really bloated and sluggish. And it just wasn't setting me up right. So I started to reduce my caffeine intake a lot. I'm not having it anywhere near as much as I was. And I'm having it a bit later on. So obviously I've had, I've done my walk, I've been to the supermarket. It's now 11 o'clock and I'm having a coffee. So that's given me quite a lot of time to my for my body to adjust i've drunk water i've moved and i've done all those things and now i'm having the caffeine and that really helps me okay let me show you the bits i got from adenola 
So, as I said, I've never been to centre parks, so I have no idea what to expect. But I'm kind of imagining it's just going to be like loungewear, active wear, quite chilled outfits for the weekend. I'm actually going to film a reel on Instagram, which uh, you're watching this tomorrow. So let me think, when will it go live? It won't be live on Instagram just yet, but it will be in the next couple of days. So if you're not following me on Instagram, Lauren Grace Life, go and follow me. And I'm going to do a reel of all the outfits I've planned and packed for like a, a wholesome wellness weekend quite wearable things that aren't super dressy. So, some new bits that I got from Azanola. All of my leggings, minus maybe two or three pairs, are covered in glue and covered in paint because silly me decided to wear them when we were in the crux of redecorating the house when we first moved in. And they are ruined, which is so stupid. So I wanted to pick up a couple of new sets. I have got some new leggings from Aloe, which are black. Um, and I also already have a couple of Adenola pairs that I love. Adenola leggings are probably my favourites. I think it's because they're so comfortable, they're really flattering. These are the ultimate leggings. They have a really thick waistband. Um, and I get these in the regular leg length. You can get them in a tall as well. So they're suitable for if you're small or short or tall. They're good for everyone. Um, I got these in an extra small. And I got a khaki forest green colour, which I think is gorgeous. Love this, especially paired with like creamy whites. I think this colour is beautiful. And then to go with that, I got myself a little full set. So I picked up a long sleeve top as well. I will link all these pieces below. Um, I paid for these with my own money, by the way. So this isn't gifted or sponsored or anything. But I just got a long sleeve top, again, in an extra small and I just thought this would be really handy because I don't think it's going to be super warm. So I can't be rocking around in a sports bra, but this is going to give me a little bit of layer and warmth, but still be quite breathable. So a little matching long sleeve top to go with that. And then I picked up another set in burgundy because this is literally the nicest colour. I just feel like it goes with everything and it's suitable for all year round. So again, the ultimate leggings, regular length, size extra small, exactly the same, but in the burgundy shade, which is absolutely stunning. It's like a berry Merlot red burgundy. This is gorgeous. Again, this paired with like creamy whites in the spring. Oh, so heavenly. Especially when I can do my morning walks and it's not so muddy. Because I, I just tend to wear like old leggings because they're going to get covered in mud. But when it's not muddy anymore, I can wear my nice active wear sets for my morning walks and romanticise my morning walks with a nice outfit. And then to go with the burgundy leggings, I got the full set. So I got the little tank top. This is kind of like the classic sports bra. Um, I think they started with this one when they first launched years ago now. Um, Again, burgundy colour, beautiful. This has got padding in, which I quite like, but you can take the padding out if you don't want to. There is an option to remove it here. So you can just slide the little cups out if you don't like them. Um, now, I got this in a medium this time. Usually, I wear the um, these tank tops in an extra small. I have one here that I wore yesterday. Um, this is a little cream a sports bra. This material feels very different to this one. This is like a soft, like almost like brushed cotton, strange. Um, but yeah, this is an extra small and this fits me perfectly. Almost kind of like a bra would fit, I guess, like tight, um, it, but it's not uncomfortable. But I wanted to get one that was almost a bit like a top. Uh, so it's a little bit longer line and it doesn't feel like a bra. I didn't want it to be baggy, but I'm just hoping that the arm length isn't gonna be too long because it is a medium, so I have to try this on, fingers crossed. I'll try these on all on in a minute and do some outfits with you. Um, like show you how I'll style them up for centre parks. And then lastly, I got a little zip up top. This is in the Midnight Navy colour, which I adore. I already have this colour in some leggings, but I don't have any tops that match. So I thought I would get a little zip up because these are so handy. I wear these all the time. I have a couple of these in black and even when I'm doing the food shop, running errands, going for walks, when it's not muddy, <laughs> just like hanging about the house, I always wear these. 
They are so comfortable. They're really, really good. The Asnola ones don't have pockets, but I have one from USA Pro that does have pockets. So it's quite good if you're like running or whatever, if you need pockets. This is in an extra small as well. So I probably have four matching sets in total, including some bits that I already have. Black, burgundy, navy, and khaki. And then I have a few like random other little bits like sports bras and yeah, other random bits and bobs. I have actually got quite a lot of my activewear stuff in the wash because I panic washed it last night so that it would dry before Friday. Um, but I'm gonna try these on and kind of show you how I would style them up for center parks. One thing I don't have, which is probably very stupid of me and I really should have ordered some, is some kind of like gym trainer. I actually have a couple that I really like the look of, which I will show you now. I'll put some on the screen. So the first pair that I really like are these Veha trainers. They're a little bit chunky. They're kind of like a creamy neutral suede. I just think they look really lovely and I quite like a chunky trainer with skinny leggings. Um, I feel like it just balances out quite nicely. I know chunky trainers are very much going out of fashion, but who cares? I quite like them. We don't follow fashion trends around here. <laughs> we just wear what we like. And then the other pair that I quite like are these Nike ones. V2K? That means nothing to me. But they look like this. And they have little dark green elements on. So the tick and that darker bit there is like a forest green. I think those are quite nice as well. Then I have seen a lot of hype about these trainers called On. I don't love these, but they do have some quite nice choices with the brand On. Just kind of like quite lightweight. I still want them to have a little bit of um, structure to them and support because I probably will wear them on the running machine, but I don't really do high impact exercise. And yeah, I don't need like a proper running trainer. And then these as well, these are another Nike pair. These are called Zoom Vomero 5. But I thought these were quite cool. I quite like this, all the details on here. I think these are my favorite out of all of them. And I feel like these probably have a bit more support. They're not super flimsy. So I really don't know what to do. I wish you could tell me right now this second what I should order and I would order it now so it would come for the weekend. But we can't do that, so I probably won't because I hate panic buying and impulse buying and I will just wear some trainers that I have. I'm gonna have to go and try and find them. But anyway, let's try on some of this active wear, see if everything fits and I'll try and style some bits up and show you how I will wear them for center parks because we have got um, lots of things planned. We're, we've got badminton booked, squash booked. I really want to go in the gym. There's a massive spa which looks unbelievable. So I'm gonna try and get in there and do like the cold plunge, the sauna. Um, we've got, I think we've, we've got bikes which we have to ride the bikes around the complex because um, we're staying in a log cabin which is kind of in the woods out of the resort. So we have to ride bikes everywhere which I haven't ridden a bike for years so I'm a bit nervous about that. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, what else have we got planned? Oh, we've got a golf, a golf day booked because um, Jack's nanny, Jack and his brother play golf. So I think me and Lisa are just gonna go along for the day. So I kind of wanna get like quite a nice golfing outfit, even though I can't play golf, but it would just be quite nice. It's just gonna be lovely. I'm just excited. Actually, I was speaking to Jack's nanny the other day because she plays golf four or five times a week. And I was saying to her, it must be such a nice hobby to have because you're out in the fresh air, you're walking around a golf course. And she was saying to me, you should book lessons because it's such a rewarding thing. And it's actually such a fun day out. Before Jack's granddad passed away in the last couple of years, they um, used to go on all these golfing trips and like safari golf trips, South Africa. Honestly, incredible. And I would love to learn how to play golf one day because I just imagine when me and Jack are older and we're their age, we could go and play golf together. <laughs> how wholesome. Anyway, outfits. This is the burgundy set. Absolutely gorgeous, fits like a dream. I definitely should have got a small um, because as you can see, like this bit doesn't really fit that great. 
um, but I don't mind it because it's so much more long line and that is pretty much what I wanted. Um, but I love it. The regular length is so perfect because it just hits my ankles so well and it's not too long. Um, I also just found these trainers in the cupboard downstairs that I completely forgot that I had. These little New Balance ones and I think these are going to be really good. Definitely need a bit of a clean because they're a bit grubby at the front but... I think that solved my train issues for now and I think these are really nice just a nice chunky white trainer so yeah I've kind of styled this up a little bit so I've popped um, just like a cream jumper over my shoulders obviously I'm going to have to wear this with a coat because it's going to be cold but I just thought this is a quite a cute little outfit for the first one and then we have the green outfit, which I absolutely love. These long sleeve tops are just brilliant. The extra small is perfect because it's super, super tight. I love the little finger holes as well. These are really good. And yeah, again, the leggings are perfect. It's just such a nice material. It really, really sucks you in. And this thick waistband on the leggings is so nice because it's really comfortable. It's not kind of like restrictive it doesn't dig in it's a really really nice um material and i just feel like it fits so well i absolutely love this little green set my navy um leggings to match this are drying after being in the wash so i'm just going to pop this on and show you how it looks probably should have put like a sports bra on underneath but i'll just chuck it over this for now these labels are absolutely massive. <laughs> I just wanted to try it all on just to check the sizes before I take the labels off. So this is the jacket. Obviously I wouldn't wear it over the top of a long sleeve top, but just to show you, here it is. You've got the hand holes. It's such a, it's a really nice length because it's not super long line. So it doesn't come down really long like some of my others. It just fits really nicely. Really, really sucks you in. This is gorgeous. Love this. I think this navy with my navy matching trousers will look so nice. And then probably with my Chanel trainers with the little bits of navy and grey. I think that's gorgeous. Oh, exciting. I actually cannot wait to spend a whole weekend in just comfy loungewear sets. Love all of these pieces. I will link them all down below. for half an hour yeah. why oh, okay right dinner is served spaghetti bolognese delicious and we have day balls as well Did you put this